hello everyone so today's episode is about the enemies here in AI perception so those are patrolling enemies when I if I run they will hear my footstep sounds and then they will come the, to the last herd location and they will look for me look for an enemy if they don't see anything they will again go back to their normal routine which is patrolling uh, otherwise if they see me they will start fighting so yeah now they heard me so I'll quickly run here and hide when I crouch they don't hear me so they are looking for me at the last herd location and yeah since they haven't seen me they are going back to their normal routine which is patrolling like this and this time I will make a sound and wait for them to be detected okay now he saw me and he is coming to fight Alright, so that's what I'm going to cover today. And as always, this episode is also sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, let's get started by adding a sight uh, uh, here in perception. And this is my sight perception. And here I can just add an element to the census config array and add the uh, hearing configurations but then again I'm not sure how to determine whether it is a uh, sight or hearing so therefore I'll name this one sight and I'll add duplicate this one the same thing hearing and here I'll change this to AI hearing config in the census I'll enable this all three detection by affiliation because as I said before these uh, these features as I know these features are not fully accessible from blueprint so that's why I enable them all okay and the dominant sense is AI sense hearing right now here on target perception update I'll add a event like this and I'll just collapse it because I need to keep this clean Hearing and I'll add a comment like this so that I need to enable this so that I can see when I zoom out the code. Okay, hearing now. First thing I need to do is get the actor and check if there is an enemy is enemy and the team number is get control phone get team okay I hope you I I think I don't have to explain this part again because I have already explained it in the site so this is just to determine uh, to compare the team numbers of both the detected or seen or heard actor and this actor if this is an enemy then I need to consider it yes if this is an enemy I'll break down the split this stimulus 
and I will get this one and another branch like this so if all these conditions are true I will print just to test this first I'll print the actors name and then I'll print heard so actor name heard that means it's it would be like player heard when this AI hear something so now where do we in order to heard by an AI character we need the character to make some noise and I think I have already done that in my human character on the footsteps because in my previous AI system that I did without using behavior trees I had this hearing system so let's check footstep okay and yeah here here I have called this make noise in the footstep event so if you don't have implemented that you can go ahead and implement it the way I have implemented it is I have had a I add the animation notifier to my let me check it quickly yeah for each footstep footstep I have added a animation notifier and this animation notifier fires an event let's oh this is all right yeah here that animation notifier there is footstep right here calls this character's footstep event which is this one and here I call this make noise among all other things so that's how you make a noise right now let's check whether my AI characters can hear footsteps okay let's try okay they can hear footstep sounds that's why that uh, ch player heard is printed to the left top left corner of the screen but this music is annoying let me disable it I did this in the last episode to show the dynamic how to change dynamically music depending on the situation let me disable it where is the auto activate okay and also I will disable this one right now they can hear me so then what I need them to do is they should check the herd location alright so to do that let's add a new blackboard key like this in a vector I'll call it last herd location and here I'll set that key like this get blackboard get key no set key set value as a vector and the key name should be let's make a literal name same as the one I defined there last heard location 
and the vector value is this stimulus stimulus location okay and then okay now let's uh, see what do we need to change in the behavior tree so this is yeah this is my current behavior tree it has three states not detected detecting and uh, detected okay so now this uh, when I hear something I need to check that location and that should happen when I am in this not detected state that means uh, if I have already seen the enemy then I don't have to check for the last heard location because I can see the enemy I need to fight him so if not detected then I'll do a selector like this like this and I'll add another sequence with the decorator blackboard based condition last heard location is set so if the last third location is set I will move to the last third location and then wait and then I need a way to clear the last third location so how can I do that? Yeah, I'll add a new task. I'll name it T Clear. Mm -hmm. Can I add this as a service? Clear Blackboard key. Okay, let's open it and receive execute AI and get blackboard of the owner controller and I need a variable a blackboard key DB key and the type of luck port key selector get it uh, clear value oh here I have to provide the key name Can I get the name of this one? Okay, let's try this. Just to be sure, let's print this value as well. So that we can see if the value is not returning. I'll change the color and increase the time so that I can see it. Oh. All right, All right, and let's use this task here. Clear blackboard key. Hmm. I need to be able to select this one. Instant editable. Oh, 
okay last third location and yeah and I'll add another sequence can I duplicate this yeah so this time when the last herd is not set so in that case I need is not set and this must be let's take some row yeah now I don't need this how to disconnect them right if that uh, last third location value is not set then they should keep patrolling So let's check how it works. I'll keep running. I'll run. Okay, now they heard me and they should come and check. Now I'll crouch so they don't hear me anymore. And they have checked the last heard location. And what's happening? Let's see still uh, right the problem is I did not finish execute here otherwise uh, this node will be stuck here and wouldn't proceed further okay let's check again when they are close to my location I'll run right now they heard me I'll crouch them and they are going to come into search and they are checking the last heard location now and they don't see it see me so now they should return to patrolling they are waiting wait something is wrong right the problem is here get the blackboard value as name it seems that's not working so what can I do? Maybe I should define, I'll just define the name. Make literal name. And the name is this. Last third location. all right let's check again I have added another barrier here so that I can hide there okay they haven't heard me now they heard me and let's quickly go run and hide they are checking in the place they heard the sound and in a moment yeah now they are going back because they are now they haven't seen anything what happens if I run again okay now they heard me again and they are checking nothing yeah they are working as I expected and yeah when they see me they start attacking 
<laughs> Alright, and I'm going to stop it today for now. Mm, just like I did for the detecting, I'll add some shocking sound. I'll make the enemies make some shocking sound. Like, huh? So, where did I do that? Right here. I use this vocal. Not that, not that. I have something like shock. Where did I play it? Uh, right, this one. <gasps> I'll play that sound. Mm, for that, I need to get the control lock pawn, control pawn's location. Here. Oh, let's do it like this. Two ones. Otherwise, you will keep hearing ha 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 continuously. That's not good. For each footstep, they will make a shocking sound. At the delay, oh, because I need them to do it again in the next time they see me. Right, and also here. In the behavior tree, I'll make them wait about two seconds before start searching. That would look more realistic. So once they heard the sound, they should stop. Okay, they stopped and now coming to search. And they are not seeing anything, so they should go back. Why aren't they going back? Maybe they are stuck on each other. Let's try again. Okay, one of them heard me. That's why they did that shocking sound. And he's coming to check. Alright. And he's going back. Okay. And I'm gonna stop it again. And thanks for watching. If you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below and also I'll update the source code update soon and thanks for watching if you enjoy my tutorials you can share them with friends so that uh, more people will reach them and yeah see you in the next episode goodbye